Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4 Cossacks 1.15.1. We've had a little bit of a successful start here. The Ottomans have left us alone, which is kind of good, kind of bad. Like, I would prefer if they would declare on us so we could just get it started. It's like there's so much sexual tension in the room and the Ottomans just won't, they won't initiate contact. Uh, but we have so far taken out Naxus and Crete, which start the game in Venice's control. But the Ottomans had an early war with Venice, and they made Venice release that stuff. So we took a little bit of it. There's still Corfu and Negroponte to take from Venice. Eventually. Meanwhile, moving some troops around to our ally Hungary. Hungary, who is uh, currently beating the shit out of Florence. Our ally Poland is doing nothing. so just, That's good. So he's got his manpower up. He's ready to go in case a war begins. Let's pick up the last of our troops here. There's no revolt risk here. I might as well take the troops out. Yeah, negative four revolt risk. Good. Hungary will break treaties with Siena. Hungary will pay 96 ducats. Hungary surrendered? <laughs> Hungary surrendered to Florence. That's awesome. Yeah, hide troops in Poland, hide troops anywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm hiding troops. I agree that this is a good idea. You can hide them anywhere, really. Just hide them somewhere that the Ottomans can't just rush. State-appointed lay members. Um, hey, 50 admin points. Thank you. Alright, let's grab our army. Hey, we have a baby! 065. You know what? Not bad. Give me a name, Twitch chat. I need a name for this baby. He's obviously not very good at running a nation, but he's good at making friends, and he's good at killing his enemies. Running a nation? Eh. <laughs> not so much. Jaime? Carl, Darth Gnome, Trump, Lucifer, Big Dickerson, Zeus Poseidon, Birdmana for Days, Shit Admin Guy, Deadpool, Potato Muncher, there's so many names, Istanbul, Trump the Stump, George W. Bush, Thomas the Dank Engine, Lord Potato, Christopher, John Shenrer, Dan, LMAO the third, Fritz, half good, John Senna, <laughs> Badman, Bernie, Donald, Oscar for Leo, what? Boy Get, Northern Lion, Schnarf, Schnarf, oh man, I like that one, <laughs> Grandma Gist Gistrait, Schnarf. <laughs> Now I need to go watch Thundercats again. All right, so we have a baby boy named Schnarf. Average claim, but I don't care. With, with stats like that, I'll take it. All right. Biggest Dickus, Ivan Shenkovsky, Kebab Remover. Obama, Bob, Bean the Panda. Oh, come on, Indiana. Bean, I don't know, you're right though, he wasn't the brightest, and he did hit very hard. I guess Bean would have made a good name there. Oh well. Let's go sit in the mountains. You think he's going to die within two years? Yeah, it's possible. His stats are above average, so something's going to happen, right? You know what, we're going to have another coup. We're going to have another coup. I've, I've called it, we're going to have a third coup. It's going to happen. The names are still rolling in, and... It's been decided, folks. I think the stream has just lagged for some people. Yeah, the naming is over. The naming is over. I think we got a claim on Cyprus, who's still guaranteed by the Mamluks. Okay. Did the Mamluks take land over here? They did. They took two provinces. That's like nothing. Oh, and Armenia has been released. And George is independent. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Mamluks did work. The Mamluks released a four-province Armenia. And they also made Georgia independent again. No longer a vassal. Wow. Get shit on, QQ. Get good. All 
I'm gonna get relations up with Georgia. He could be a good ally. Even if he doesn't help too much, he's a great distraction for Ottoman troops. Muscovy has no heir. France has no heir. Really? Really? Oh my god, if he dies today, he gets the same dynasty as, as uh, Austria. That's disgusting. All right, maybe we could marry Muscovy. We have two relationships available. Fort defense or siege ability. Probably want fort defense here, actually, in case the Ottomans declare. Hey, Muscovy, how about a marriage, baby? Oh, wow. Distance between borders, negative 29. Okay, so I can't marry Muscovy. That's too bad. I probably can't marry France either. No, not even close. Not even close. Well, I tried. I tried. All right, mothball the fleets. Just chill. Mothball and chill. Can you ask the estates for points? Uh, maybe. Demand military support. Lose 20 loyalty, gain points. Um, sure. I'm not going to do the others, <laughs> obviously. Let's go ahead and raise our stability as well. The Ottomans declared on QQ. Okay, so they're not going for us at all. Hmm. I guess that's fine. I mean, we can just get our trust up, right? Trust at eight, trust at seven, three years. So we're nine years away. In nine years, we can declare with Poland and Hungary both on trust, so we don't have to give them any land. I'm okay with that. Ooh, Poland wants this land. Careful there, Poland. That's my land. I have set that as mine, right? Hold on. Yeah, I've already set that as mine. You can't have it, Poland. I already said I want it. Holy shit, Castile got fucked. Get fucked, Castile. Wow. Just wow. Look at that. And he has no allies. He has no allies. Why? Why? That was Castile declared the war. I can't even. I can't even. Favors, not trust. You're right. Favors, not trust. I'm talking about favors. Yeah, you need 10 favors to declare war without promising land. And that's what I want to do. Because they're definitely going to do most of the heavy lifting, and I don't want to give them any clay. Iberian wedding? Yeah. It, isn't that weird? Even if Castile's in a terrible situation, I guess he finally got an alliance back. Even though if he's in a terrible situation, he still can get the Iberian wedding to happen. Uh-oh. Our advisor died. Um, I think I need to keep, I need to keep the relations up. Yeah. Might even go for a military guy as well. Discipline, morale, probably morale. It's the Castile's not dead. It's just. You know, they're in a tough spot, that's all. I'm sure they'll be fine. They'll bounce right back, right? Oh god, the Autumns are crushing QQ. Goodbye, QQ. You tried your best. And now you're dead. Are you annexing your vassals? No. Huh, kind of weird. Crimea has Theodoro and Circassia as vassals, and he's not annexing them. He just... He's just not. He's just not. <laughs> he didn't care. No, even, even if he gets the Iberian wedding, there's no way it would work. Like, Aragon would just be like, fuck you, and declare independence. I don't think they could hold the wedding. All right, relations. 
keep these guys topped off. Check our favors. Nine. So we're almost ready. Mm. Well, no, still seven over here in Poland. And I really want to do it when Poland is not busy. And right now they're not busy. So now would be good. Austria, do you guys still hate Poland? You do. Why do you gotta hate Poland? Why you gotta hate Poland? What's did Poland ever do to you, Austria? You think Aragon will take a marriage? No, I checked. He won't take a marriage. Mm -mm. Neutral attitude, distance between borders, reputation. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I annexed a vassal recently. That's why. But that'll go away in five years. So in five years, we might be able to marry him. Maybe. Armenia has no heir. How old is your leader? 23. Never mind. Let's get relations up, though. Might as well be friendly with him. Alright, come on back from Hungary. And... Let's see. Poland we maxed out. Yep. Okay. Who's this? Genoa. Oh man, it's just a mess over here. The Pope? The Pope and Genoa are fighting Florence now. Oh, rip Normandy. Rip Normandy. Burgundy just declared war. What is this? Lose loyalty with the nobles and lose admin points, or lose prestige and gain loyalty. Um... I don't really want to lose prestige, to be honest. Nah, no, screw him. I like prestige. Prestige is hard to come by when you're a small nation. So I'm going to try to keep it up as high as possible. That's what she said. 7,000 troops here on the knights. And I would need 9,000 to siege the fort. I really don't want to sit there for 9,000 troops for that long. We might have to do it, though. Wow, we're over our manpower cap. How did that happen? All right, Perm has been annexed. So has Yaroslavl. So has um, Beskov. Okay, so Muscovy has annexed all of his vassals. Great Synod. Gain stability. Thank you. Holy shit. These random events are nice. What's the benefit of getting high? It's missionary strength, local unrest. <sighs> Fuck that. I'm just gonna keep Patriarch Authority at zero and just keep taking all these wonderful events. Randomly gives us free Monarch points, free stability. Yeah, I'll take all that shit. Goodbye, QQ. You had a good run, sort of. You know what's interesting is I'm about to be two techs ahead of the Ottomans. The Ottomans are tech four. The Ottomans are tech four. I'm about to be tech six. Wow. Then again, Poland and Hungary are both tech four as well. But still, that's it's weird. All right, the Pope took Arezzo. Interesting. Milan is eating Genoa. Ooh, this could be an opportunity to go for CO. Maybe. No, no, no. I gotta wait until they leave the Empire. Eh, I can't do it while they're in the Empire. Although, if Milan takes these two provinces, I think they'll move out of the Empire. I think. We'll see. Ottomans lost their dynasty, did they? They shit. They sure did. They have Kuba Toglu. Never heard of Kuba Toglu, but there they are. Ottomans are fabricating on us. Okay. Bring it. Bring it, Ottoman scum. In fact, do it right now, because now's the perfect time. Yes. All right, the Ottomans just peaced out. He took a whole fuckload of land. Look at that. One, two, three, four. He took four, five provinces. 
Wow. Bring it on. Declare. Come on, declare. I'm going to be two techs ahead of you, bro. Do it. Declare. Pussy. Not declaring. Can I rival him again? Nope, still can't rival him. Yeah, Corsica is in the HRE, but I don't think Genoa would move their capital there. Most likely they would move it to the, the next closest connected territory. And connected territory would be over here. So I think they'd move their capital to like Kaffa or Mantriga. Because they're connected by a strait. Whereas Corsica is isolated. It's an island. It's not connected to these other two provinces. So if they lose these two provinces, pretty sure their capital will go over here automatically. I think that's how it works. Even though, even though Corsica is in the empire, I think their capital automatically goes to connected territory. I think. I'm going to get relations with the Mamluks back up. Even though they want Crete. I would like to placate you guys if possible. Did I say you're friendly? No, I'm going to say you're friendly. Might as well. How are we doing on trust? Not trust. Uh, favors. Eight favors. Okay. Hungary's at 10. So Hungary's good to go for an offensive war. Poland, not so much. Not yet. Poland just declared on the Teutons. Okay, that's fine. The Teutons are almost dead. So just go ahead and finish them up. And you'll be good to go. Donzig has no allies. And this is this is so frustrating. Donzig has been free for 20 years. And in 20 years, they have done nothing. No allies. Nothing. Why? Why don't you get allies? Do something. They're just sitting. They're just going to get annexed. They're just going to get annexed by someone. It's so dumb. Does Shen have an army? Yeah, we're hiding in the mountains of Hungary. We're hiding in Targu Mures in the province of Maros in Transylvania. And we're hiding there because if the Ottomans declare, I want to be, you know, somewhat defended. Somewhat. Clergy political struggle. What's this do? Do not meddle in the affairs of the clergy. Clergy gains influence. Or support a younger candidate. Clergy gains loyalty and loses influence. No, there's no point. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Oh, Novgorod is now a one province minor. Wow. Muscovy almost full next to him. Bye, Novgorod. Bye, Novgorod. Want to marry me yet? Marry me, Muscovy. No? No marriage? Darn. We've discovered Central Asia. Go to. Oh, do you like this? Okay. This is how this works. You ready? You have discovered Central Asia. Go to. Hmm. Yep. There it is. Central Asia, everybody. All right, let's try again. Maybe it's just maybe it's maybe it's just bugged out because we we're looking at the water. Let's look at Africa. Oh, there's Central Asia right there. Okay, maybe maybe if I put it on, uh, let's center on I don't know, Europe. Okay, we're we're looking at Europe now. Go to Central Asia. Go. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's not working right. Anyway, this is what we've discovered. Yarkin, Timurids, Oirat. Who's this? Kalka separatists. And Uzbek. Cool. Oh, wow, Karadel has three provinces. That never happens. Muscovy rivaled Austria. Okay. I don't know why you would rival Austria. He borders Sweden. Lithuania, Poland, Hungary, Crimea, no guy, Uzbek. But he rivals Austria. Whatever. Whatever. I don't want to make sense out of it. I, I, I Sometimes I overanalyze this game and it's like, oh, it's just not making sense. But it's a video game. Who cares? Okay, we got our marketplace. Tempted to build a church here, but I kind of feel like it's a waste of money. I mean, a tiny bit of increased income is not that great. Let's go ahead and get tech six. New cav. Nice. Stratioti cavalry. Nice. All right, how many troops do the Ottomans have these days? He's got 42 ships. And uh, 40,000 troops. All right. 
So if he declared, he'd be fighting Poland-Lithuania, which is about 70, and Hungary, which is another 23. So he'd be, yeah, that's why he's not declaring, because he'd be fighting 93,000 troops. So most likely, I'm going to be the one declaring. That's what it looks like. Lose stability or lose 100 Diplo? I'll lose the 100 Diplo. I like my stability. Yeah, the Teuton's going to get full in next tier. There's just no way around it. Oh, his ally didn't even join. Livonia didn't even join. Ah. Oh, Teutons. Poor guy. Hey, how's it going, Hasa? Good job in your war, by the way. And here comes Persia. So the Mamluks did the heavy lifting. The Mamluks defeated the Karakoinlu armies and made them lose a lot of land. And then the Ottomans came in. Same thing. Then Hasa and now Persia. It's just... Everyone is just railroading QQ. They don't have a chance to even build a fucking army. Church in Constantinople is about half a ducat a month. Well, not really. It's 40% increase over this 0.86. So 40% times 0.86 is about 0.34. Four, maybe 0.33 ducats. It's not that much. No, it's maybe more than that. It's about 0.36 ducats per month. So how many months would that be to pay off the 100 ducats cost to build this damn thing? 102 ducats to build this damn thing. I mean, that's a lot of months. All right, Persia has a direct border with the Ottomans now. I want to see them rival them. But you can't. Well, I still want to see you rival them. Like, QQ should be too small. QQ should be too small to rival, so he should be able to rival the Ottomans. Just make it happen. There you go. QQ is now too small. Come on, set the Ottomans. Set the Ottomans. Do it. Oh, he allied Mamluks. Nice. Oh, you can see how much from the building's toolbar? Mm -hmm. Okay, 0.3 ducats a month. This building will increase monthly income by 0.3 ducats. So how many months would that be? 70 years to pay for itself? Persia has announced the Ottomans as a rival. Yes! Oh, beautiful day. Beautiful day. Get those relations going again. Keep you nice and happy. Hmm. Georgia will take an alliance, but not a marriage. The alliance is tempting, but if the Ottomans declare on Georgia, I'll be fucked. No, I can't do the alliance there. Not yet. Yeah, Persia did exactly what I wanted them to do. There you go. Poland has full annexed the Teutons. He is ready to go. How close are we on favors? We're still at eight. So it's going to be another, it looks like two years. Yeah, maybe three years. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll do it as soon as we can. I mean, I was really hoping the Ottomans would declare on us, but that didn't happen. He is Tech 5, though. Hungary, Tech 4, Poland, Tech 4. Gross. They really need to get to Tech 5 before I declare my war. So we'll wait for them to get up to Tech 5. It shouldn't take too long. I don't, I hope. Ugh. Military 2, Military 1. Okay, it might take a little while. Why are you guys so behind on tech? Jesus. I'm 13 years ahead on military tech. With a two with a military skill of two, I'm 13 years ahead on tech. Get on my level, allies. The temple will take 20 years to pay itself back. Alright, I'll build it. It just feels like a high a high cost. A high initial cost, right? But I mean, it does pay itself back eventually. Ottomans allied... Wow, the Ottomans... Look at their allies. They're just allying everyone. Tunis, Clemson, Morocco. Jeez. Might want to wait for one of these guys to go to war with each other. Because they do hate each other, right? You hate Tunis? Yeah, you hate Tunis. So if you guys would go to war with each other, that'd be great. Just beat each other up. Go top off Austria. 
top off Adagorn. And top off maybe Circassia? Yeah, sure. Can you see Dynastic Map Mode? Yeah, where is that? Dynastic, there we go. Kumatoglu, Urji, Hafsid, Zionid, Modernid, Trastamara, Valois, Burgon, Lancaster, Stuart, O'Browin, Obra Debro, De Avis, Jagielon, Rurikovic, von Wittelsbach, von Habsburg, uh, Brankovic, Kostromanich, Visconti, Musat, Jure. Lots of dynasties out there. Chagate. Hmm, Golden Horde is supporting the independence of Theodoro. Okay. Well, good luck with that. I mean, the Golden Horde already lost a war to Crimea. I don't know why you would support Crimea's vassals' independence if you already lost a war to them, but... Meh. I'm surprised Athens has no buildings. We're gonna have to build some stuff there. How are we doing on uh, favors here? Nine favors. Okay, so we're two years away from declaring war. And the Ottomans already declared a war on, on Kandar. So the Ottomans are now fighting Karaman as well, right? Yeah. But he didn't call his allies into this war. Interesting. Since when is there a dynasty map mode? It's new. It's new and shiny. But that is going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. I have been Shen. You have been you. Kara Koinlu is gone. Persia, upstart Persia, has rivaled the Ottoman Turks. Oh, it's so, so good for us. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.